My name is Jessica and I am the Director of Program Innovation at Afro Vegan Society. I've been vegan for eight and a half years. So I was attending an animal rights conference in LA a few years ago and I met Brenda there while she was giving a talk about her activism in Baltimore. And so I had the opportunity to meet her and I learned about Afro Vegan Society at that conference as well. And then a few months later, she invited me to come to Thrive Baltimore, her community center. And I did a cooking demo as a part of a program that she was organizing. And so that was my introduction to Afro Vegan Society and Brenda Sanders' work. So Afro Vegan Society's mission actually really closely aligns with my own personal mission of helping to improve the quality of life for people from our community. Um, my background is in higher education access. That's how I started off my career, helping low income and first generation students have access to programs that would help them attain post-secondary education and degrees. And so I have this huge value in higher education as a means of accessing a better quality of life. But the more I learned about just the state of health and the state of environment and the state of access to healthy foods in communities that are low income, that are often filled with people that look like me and have similar backgrounds and experiences and upbringings as me, the more I felt that it was critical for me to pivot my work to help people address their most basic needs. You know, what we eat and what we consume impacts us on an everyday basis and it has a huge impact on our quality of life, not only in the present, but also in the future. And so working with Afro Vegan Society was a great opportunity for me to align my personal mission with my professional work. As the Director of Program Innovation, the mission influences my work because I am focused in on creating resources and materials that speak directly to our community and also making sure that they are being made available to members of our community. So whether it's a video that's informational, whether it's a guide, whether it's a blog post, or I'm doing research on strategic planning and new approaches to reaching our community, it's, it's really critical that the language speaks to not only the cultural connection of our community, but also it speaks to the realities of the lived experience of our people. That is at the center of everything we do. So there's a big emphasis on the fundamentals and understanding what plant-based eating and vegan living entails and helping people to understand why it's important to remove animal products from our diet and from our lifestyle as much as we can, but then also bridging that gap and focusing on featuring affordable ingredients, um, very simple recipes, because we understand that time is a precious resource, money is a precious resource, and people need to find ways to make major life shifts that don't completely disrupt their lives. And so it's really about spreading the message and demonstrating how simple it can be to pivot the way that you're going about how you're living and what you're consuming and then experiencing the benefits of plant-based living as a result of making those shifts even if you are from a community or don't have access to the most resources um, showing that it's still possible so we do want to work to ensure that healthy plant-based food vegan options are more accessible to our people who might be in communities where food access is limited or resources are sparse, but we also want to show them that it's possible to start now and that the foods we love, the flavors we love, the, the experiences of our culture are still within reach and don't have to be abandoned in order to embrace a better way of living for ourselves and for each other and for the community as a whole. I believe that it is important to have black vegan organizations like Afro Vegan Society because community is at the core of the way that our culture thrives and we need community in order to continue to grow and spread the message of the benefits of vegan living. Afro Vegan Society is committed to fostering community for us, by us. It's committed to acknowledging the contributions of black vegans who have come before us and 
laid the foundation for black Americans to become the fastest growing population of vegan eaters in the United States now and moving forward. We are essential to making sure that veganism is more than a trend. It's a real social change movement and black vegan organizations like ours really understand the intersections of all of the challenges and the obstacles but also the opportunities and innovation that exists in the black community and makes this type of thriving and growth possible even under the most difficult circumstances. I enjoy being a member of the Afro Vegan Society team because everyone who is doing this work together as a part of the organization is so collaborative, so creative, and so committed to this mission of making vegan living accessible in black communities across the country. There are so many amazing ideas constantly springing forth and we're just so resourceful and able to make so much happen with very, very little. It's empowering to be a part of this greater vision that Brenda has brought together with this organization and just looking towards the future and seeing the possibilities of the work we can do. It can be challenging doing this work, but it's so inspirational to work with such a talented, committed, and just dedicated team.